Well, I am so excited to be joined today by somebody who I never thought I'd get the chance to interview. Roger Earl is here. Uh, Roger from Foghat, thank you so much for speaking with me today. It's fine to speak with you, Stacey. Uh, good morning. Well, and we are talking today, this is exciting, so much going on in the world these past couple of years, yeah. and you guys are coming out now, uh, I guess here in a few weeks, with uh, Eight Days on the Road, which is a live album, and celebrating 50th anniversary. Does that even seem real to you? 50 really, years? No. Actually, my wife says I still act like a 16-year-old, but uh, <laughs> 50 years, I mean, that's like, uh, yeah, it, but it's been a great 50 years. As well, somebody once said, been a long strange trip <laughs> <laughs> well tell me about about the album it's a live album correct yeah uh we recorded it at the end of uh, 2019 at daryl's house club uh upstate new york and it was at the end of life uh, normally we do lots of fly-ins but this particular trip we would we were uh, we had a sprinter van so we had like uh, four dates in a row or between like 300 miles apart. So we drive them. So we were a little tired on the, on the last date, but sometimes this band works best when it's a little tired. Does that mean <laughs> you have to concentrate on what you're doing? <laughs> I, I, I've got the album here. Can I show it to you? Of course. Yes. Could you get your money's worth on this one? It's uh, that's. Uh, Holy smokes. Uh, it's a, it's a fold out like that. And of course, you have two CDs mm -hmm. and a DVD uh, and lots of pictures. You might need a magnifying glass to sort of <laughs> look at them. But, and is, uh, it, is it 15 tracks? Uh, 14 tracks, I think. 14? Yeah. Um, it was... Uh, actually, we weren't going to record it or film it. We got to the, uh, the uh, venue and uh, we saw... The recording equipment they had and the and the film they had a five camera shoot high def shoot and we said wow so at the end of the evening and and actually we don't normally get a chance to play small rooms because it was only like 250 people it was sold out <clears throat> and uh it felt great it's, it's all it's all wooden room and because i'm the drummer drums sound good in a wooden room you know <laughs> that's my favorite or the or or a bathroom. They actually they sound all right most places. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sounded really good, and we listened to it. And uh, it was uh, Brian Bassett, our lead and side guitar player, uh, mixed it and uh, edited uh, some other stuff. Um, it was. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. And uh, we're actually working. We started working on a new studio album. We have a studio down in uh, Florida in the land. Uh, so that probably that usually takes us a couple of years to get it done these days. <laughs> well, and now just to, to top this off, Roger, I see that you guys are also going to be doing a bit of a tour. Yeah, uh, we start um, next. Uh, we start in two weeks. Actually, uh, we got four or five dates this month. Then August we have eight or nine. Then September we have twelve or thirteen. But COVID actually put a big dent in everything. That was an absolute nightmare. How, how are you doing up with that? Are you okay? We're, we're getting close. All the restrictions are going to be lifted here in just over a week. So it's much better than it was. Yeah, but, but it sure changed the life for a lot of musicians like yourself. Yeah, it was. Well, actually, for me, um, it was okay because I haven't had uh, a year off since I was 12 years old, I don't think. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was home. I live on Long Island on the North Shore, you know, I went fishing, uh, got the vegetable garden working, um, but I miss being out on the road. That's, you know, that's what I do. So uh, uh, we had a couple of rehearsals with the band and everybody was uh, really hot to trot, as they say. So yeah, I miss being out on the road. It was nice having the time off, but um, I want to get back out there. Are you excited for everything that's still going on? I mean, first of all, to say that you've been, you know, in a band for 50 years is just incredible. And yet you're still doing all of this stuff. You could just sit and relax, you know, you could retire. Uh, well, a horrible <laughs> word that is. <laughs> retire? Never. I'm going to roll till I'm old and roll till I drop. Um, <laughs> now, I'm one of the fortunate few in this world. I really enjoy what I do. Um, you know, I play in a great band. We're all, I mean, we're all sort of brothers of different mothers it's uh now i'm one of the fortunate people who gets earned a decent living that's something i really love doing we should come to canada i think you should definitely come to canada you have lots of fans here trust me i think that you should maybe make that part of your tour 
we don't get there near enough. Let me shout to my manager. Hey, can we go to Canada, please? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's going to work fantastic. We will look forward to it. Well, Roger, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today. And uh, if people are looking to get the album, when is it officially out? Uh, the 16th of this month is officially out. Uh, it's a double CD, uh, DVD. We're also having a double vinyl album out probably in the fall. Uh, apparently everybody wants vinyl these days, so uh, that got put back. But yeah, the 16th of this month, uh, eight days on the road. It's only rock and roll, but we like it. Who did that <laughs> song? Some famous band. <laughs> Well, once again, Roger, it has been an absolute pleasure. And we do really hope you come to Canada because there are lots of people who would love to see Foghat here, you know, the, the music to see it live. And just for us to get live music back again, because it's been so long with this pandemic, it's just going to be a real treat. So we hope to see you here in the future. And thanks again for speaking with us. Uh, my pleasure, Stacey. Thank you very much.